Hi, DG Dino here from Jinxer Games, and this video is for this topic. I thought I'd just make a quick sample and make a video from it, so it's more easy to understand than when writing everything down. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to show you my variables. So I have my FSM string here, that's an array, and I have an array with game objects and so what I'm doing here is I will show you here oh um, let me get back here and lock this screen and go here so I have here my FSM scripts with the names on it and I just copy paste those inside uh, let me put this on number one and this on number two so, so I have three actions here, and they are all three on this uh, MIDI key game object. So in the game object, also on the first three elements, I just drop in the MIDI key. Uh, well, the game object. Then the fourth one is just an FSM as the name. So. I, place this in and then also on the third element I should drop in this game object then I have a index number as int and a game object um, variable and a FSM name and I will show you now why, how I use these so on my first state I have my array get next and I'm getting uh, the array from the uh, FSM game object, but I can also do the same with the other one with the strings. It doesn't really matter which one you use. And uh, my start and index is set to zero, so uh, it's just going to loop through everything. Then I have my loop event, that's to loop and do the things I need to do and come back. Then when it looped through all the uh, things inside the array, it's going to send a finish event and then you can continue with whatever you want to do. Then an important part also is I'm getting also the current index. So when it loops, uh, it will sh uh, follow the index number. So on index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then on the next one I have my array get and so here I'm getting the strings now and I'm getting the strings from that index number so if we get next I get something from index 2 I'm also getting um, the string from index 2 and I'm going to store this in this uh, FSM name variable then I use the enable FSM and I specify this to the game object variable and the FSM name I specify also to this string variable. Then I set enable off to disable them. And you can't use reset on exit on this one because it's gonna exit every time. So it will just gonna go on off, on off, on off, on off. And then when it's done, everything is back on. So that won't work. Okay, so after it looped and done all the arrays, it goes here, it's done, and you can do whatever you want after that. So let me show you now. So well, let's play this. And you can see all the actions are still on. And once I start this um, state, everything is off except for uh, for this this one so that's the way you can uh, do this easy and use less um, actions if you need a lot of FSMs to be disabled enabled um, a little thing to know is I found this on the ecosystem the get FSM name this can be useful if you want to add uh, add 
uh, FSMs inside an array on while playing. So in, at runtime, you can also add game objects and FSM names that can be useful. Uh, well, that's it. Uh, I hope this helped you out. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.